Uh, next question is, what do you think is the best way to get over a romantic breakup? It's easy to feel in a rut, but I was wondering if you can give some insight into a positive way to handle it. A romantic breakup. That means you were emotional about a woman and she wasn't your wife and you probably got emotional about her because you were fornicating. And so the best way to get over that is to repent for your sins <laughs> and stop doing it. Because the only reason why men fall into these traps of romantic love and then heartbreak is because you give your, you give your power away as a man when you fornicate with these women. I, I just did a call, I just did a, a live with Will Nolan. You guys you need to go listen to it. Go listen to it on my YouTube channel, it's the last video. I did it earlier today. He gives some of the greatest reason why the sexual revolution is a trap for men. The sexual revolution is such a trap for men and a big part of it has to do with the fact that sex was unleashed and made men subservient to women. He said this, and I've said it before too, it's so funny, I don't know if he watches my videos or what, but he and I think the same way. He said a, a promiscuous man is a feminist, whether he knows it or not. So repent for being in a, in a romantic relationship and then don't deal with these women unless you're looking for, for marriage, GTG for life, right? And so if you're feeling, you know, you talk, you're talking about feeling in a rut, you need to get over that rut and slap yourself for being such a sissy about letting yourself get emotional about a woman that you had no business boning. It's really what it is. I don't feel bad for you guys anymore when you break up with these, with these women that you shouldn't have been with to begin with. I don't know what happened in the relationship, but it was doomed from the beginning. So rather than you know, feeling sad for yourself because of the breakup, feel sad for yourself because you let yourself slip into a feminacy by giving your power away to a woman that's not your wife. That's the real, that's the real thing that you should be feeling, you should be cringing about on the inside. If you feeling bad about anything, it shouldn't be because, oh, I lost my baba. I lost my snuggle toy. That's all she was, was a snuggle toy. All these women are to you is a snuggle toy, fellas. She's just entertainment. You're just using her for entertainment. You don't love her. She don't love you. Y'all think you love each other, but you're in lust and you're using each other's bodies. That's what it is when you're having sex outside of marriage. Real love for a man is rational and it's, and it, and it's expressed in commitment through matrimony. That's real love in a man. Real love for a man is not emotional at all. Emotions follow. They should be within the bounds of that logical love, which is a choice. If you think you're in love and you fell, let me put it this way. Any man that fell into love is not in love. He fell. A man who's on his back, a man who fell is not serious about anything. He's, he's fallen. And that's where most of you guys are in your romantic relationships. You've fallen. You haven't logically chosen this woman to give your power to. You, the minute you put your dick in a woman, you're giving your power away to her. Especially the way guys are today where we put emotions ahead of logic. I know that there's a lot of guys out there that they could just bone as many women as they want and they'll never feel anything about it. I don't know if that's a superpower or a, or a mental problem. To me, it sounds more like a mental problem. So the, so the rut that you're feeling is a mood because you got your baba taken away and so you just need to stop being a baby. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Stop being a big baby. No, oh, I don't have it anymore. I don't, get my, I don't get my good feels anymore. And the way to handle it, just to come full circle, to handle it in a positive way, because that's your question, how to handle this in a positive way, let this be a means by which you turn your life around for good. And take your power back as a man and return to God the Father. You gotta listen to this interview, man. Will Nolan is, is so based, but only because I know he and I think the same way. You have no power as a man if you're detached from the authority of above. 
So everything that you're doing is outside the protection, outside, outside the mantle, outside the authority of God the Father. And thus, you're open to all kinds of diabolical influence and falling away. And this is what happens with these women. When you don't deal with women in a godly way, you don't deal with women in an orderly way, meaning I am first subservient to and my and my and oriented towards serving God the Father. If you put women above that, you're like you're like uh you're cut off from your power totally. You're cut off completely from your power. And when you're cut off from your power, your your soul knows it. And so it starts looking for a place to, 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 to latch on to to receive false power. So when you when you're cut off from the real power, which is grace from God, you start looking for money to suck on to, women to suck on to. You're trying to take your plug and you're trying to plug it. Just imagine like somebody they so stupid that they got, let's say they got the plug, right? They got the plug to something. Hey, I want to plug in this toaster. And they start plugging that, they start, they take and they like try to plug it into the couch. And then they try to like plug it, plug it into a brick, into the brick wall. Let's say they try to plug it into their ear or something. Or maybe they try to plug it into their nose. You look at that person like they stupid. Like, what are you doing, bro? There's no power in those things. You're not going to get any power on those things. You could put it over there and it looks nice. And it's like, hey, look, I plugged it into the couch. Don't that look cool? You could plug it, you could plug it into a hole that will receive it, but it's not going to give it any power. It's going to drain it of power. It's going to take its power away. When you plug, when you take your penis, which is a plug, and you put it in a woman, she takes your power away. Even, even your wife, she takes your power away, especially if you're blowing your load. When you get, but the difference is that when you give your when you give your power in that way to your wife in the covenant of marriage under the mantle of God the Father's protection and authority, you're protected. So so it's when they say a man should be vulnerable, that's the most vulnerable thing that a man can do is to put his dick in a woman. I know we in our world we don't see it that way. We think oh the woman's being vulnerable. No the man, you make yourself instantly vulnerable to all kinds of bad stuff. When you plug your plug your dick into a woman and she takes your power away. I know you guys think, oh, I have a, now I have power because I blew my load into a plastic bag while boning is broad. You did you just lost your power, bro. You lost your dignity. You lost your you lost your your state as a man in the power and 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 you lost integrity in her eyes, even though she doesn't know it, by giving yourself away to her, and then you lose your physiological strength by blowing your load. And when you, when you blow your load as a man, don't, don't be fooled. Women aren't the only ones that release oxytocin. When you blow your load as a man in a woman by having an orgasm with her, your, your body releases oxytocin, and you start to bond. Men pair bond. It's not just women that pair bond. Men pair bond. That's why you guys are getting fucking broken hearts. Because you pair bonded with this girl that had no business receiving your, receiving your power. So the only way to handle this in a positive way is to, reten is to, is to repent and return home and never do it again. So that's my, that's my opinion on that, bro. Good question, though. Done. The only other option, I know I'm still going with this, the only other option is to become a, a psychopath, a sociopath, Pavel says. The only other option is to become a sociopath, meaning harden yourself against the softness that accompanies having sex with these women because you're going to fall in love. You're going to fall in love. So you have two choices. Protect yourself with chastity and you protect her with chastity or... You harden yourself against love, and then guess what happens when you harden yourself against love? You, you're hardened for life. That's why these guys who are promiscuous, they say that, oh, you know, a woman who has lots of sex, she can't pair bond anymore. I think it goes both ways. These guys who are out there, and, they're, and I know them because some of them are y'all in here. 
They go around and they're promiscuous for 10 years. They, oh, yeah, I had sex with hundreds and hundreds of women. And then they're like, man, I'm tired of this. I want a wife. They can't find a wife. They cannot find a wife because they're hardened against love. They're hardened against it. So when a woman who's a wife-worthy woman presents herself to him, he don't know. He's like, I, he can't see that that's a wife-worthy woman because he's so used to sluts. So promiscuity is just as bad for you guys as it is for the women. Don't go around saying, oh, it's, it's just women that can't pair bond. Part of the reason why you guys can't find wife-worthy women is because you're oriented towards only finding sluts. Your physiology, your psychology, everything. is You're tuned to finding sluts. So we got to make some big changes if we're going to turn this culture around, fellas. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Listen to Will Noland in my interview. He kind of like, he just, he's like me. He almost like wants to apologize when he gives these answers. <laughs> he's like, I know it's going to be hard. I know it sounds tough. But this is what works. And that's the truth, guys. Yeah. That's the, tr it's the truth. It sucks, man. Like, and listen, I don't want to be a hypocrite over here telling you guys what to do. And it's like, oh, Elliot, but you've been married for 20 years. What do you know? You know what? The fact that I've been married for 20, 20 years gives me perspective. I'm objective about it. So yes, it is easier for me to say this, but it's also easier for me to see this because I'm not wrapped up in it. So I don't want you. I don't want, ever want you guys to think that I'm denigrating you or, or 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 speaking down to you like I'm some sort of superhero and I can do this. Oh, Elliot can do this, and you can't. I'm not in your shoes. I I feel for you guys. I you know honestly, I have compassion for you guys, but I couldn't lie to you and say, oh, go and you know sow your oats and go and have sex with lots of women when I can see from the outside looking in. I deal with thousands of men. There are thousands of you guys that have passed through this program over the course of the three years that I've been here. There have been three, about 1,000 guys a year. 3,000 guys have been through this program, believe it or not. So I see, I'm watching. That's how I learned a lot of the things I'm, I, I know, and I'm giving you the advice I'm giving you. Because as I've watched and like I'm listening to you guys, I'm paying attention, I'm like, wait a second. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern here. You can't see the pattern because you're in it, right? So it's hard. You guys are so close to the trees. Imagine like the trees are going in a certain pattern, but you're so close to the trees, you can't see the pattern. But me, because I'm not even in the forest with you guys, I'm up here, I'm in the helicopter trying to help you guys out. And I'm like, oh, oh shit, look. Guys, there's a pattern. I'm seeing the pattern. I gotta warn you. And you down there loving this, you know, it, because you're so addicted to like, man, it's trees. These trees are amazing. Picking the fruit from the tree and oh, just loving the trees. Then I'm like, wait, 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 stop. Stop eating that fruit. That's not going to help you. You're getting, you're getting stuck. But then you're looking up like, what the hell, Elliot? You're not even down here in the trees with us. How do you know? <laughs> if I didn't have you, I wouldn't tell you guys this stuff if I didn't have your best interest in mind. Also, I wouldn't tell you guys this stuff if it wasn't traditional and biblical. I, because, listen, when I had a point in my career where I had to make some big decisions about who I'm going to be because of the fact that I know that men listen to me. And I know that there was a time when I was going down the wrong road. And it's, it's one thing to go down the wrong path yourself. And I was going down the wrong path. And if you notice, I didn't make many videos for a couple of years there because I know I was on the wrong path. And I was like, I don't want to bring anybody down this path for me. Subconsciously, I knew. I was like, man, I'm, if, I'm going down, if I'm going down a path and... All the men that follow me are following me on that path. It better be the right path. This is why I returned to the faith. This is why I became Christian again. Because I can't, I can't hold that authority. I have, to, I have to have an authority myself before I can carry you guys towards what's right. I have to, I have to be submissive to something more powerful than me if I'm going to, if I'm going to expect and recognize that you guys are going to follow me. And so a lot of things I'm saying, like, it's not like, oh, Elliot has a theory 
oh, Elliot, you know, is uh, because a lot of stuff that's in like, you know, pop culture thinking is wrong. And it's not like, oh, Elliot read a book about this or Elliot took a course about this. That was never good enough for me. That wasn't good enough for me. Yo, Elliot is following 2,000 years of tradition, perhaps even longer, thousands of years of tradition. And so I'm telling you guys this stuff because I can see it, but also because it's thousands of years of tradition. This whole so-called free love movement this got, that got us you know, hooking up and dating is new, and it's, it guarantees the reason why we're suffering and struggling as a culture. Weaponized chastity, man. It's the only way we're going to turn this freaking boat around. It's the only way, and it sucks because we become so addicted to pleasure. But it's the only way we're going to turn this around. So take it or leave it, fellas. My job is not to make you guys believe. My job is not to make you do anything. My job is to be honest with you and to have your best interest in mind. So that's it. That's all I got to say about that.